listen, while breaking generational curses, try to look at the, po- I know it's tough, like try to look at the positive elements of your toxic family. Because obviously, you know, they did what they did, you know, especially if you're the scape- scapegoat or black sheep. You you don't want to carry yourself like a victim, although you've been through whatever you've been through. You feel what I'm saying? And I'm not minimizing nobody's experience. I've been through it. I get it. You feel what I'm saying? But you're not going to win being a victim. But what you truly want to do is look for the good qualities. Try to work on those qualities and make them stronger. But... The only reason why you should focus on the toxic stuff is because when you go out in the real world, you will become a target based off of the role that you play within that toxic, dysfunctional family. You feel what I'm saying? But when you're breaking generational curses, you want to grow those strong qualities because nine times out of 10, um, there were some solid qualities that your family had. You feel what I'm saying? Even if they were just, even if they those qualities were facades, You should be blessed that you were even exposed to those qualities coming from that level of dysfunction or that or that toxic of a family. You feel what I'm saying? Even though I came from a toxic, narcissistic, dysfunctional family, it's still certain things from my family that I'm like, yo, thank God that that happened. You feel what I'm saying? Like I grew up in a in in the hood or whatever the case may be, but my family was such a facade that they wanted to be perceived as better than people. They wanted to be. You know what I'm saying? They they wanted to operate a certain way. So I I I I'm I'm blessed that I grew up, even though it was a lot of stuff going on behind closed doors, I can car- I can operate a certain way within this world that I can kind of like I'm very interchangeable within society. So I feel like I've seen the the, the hood sides of stuff, but I also know the politically correct side or the the um the business side I guess you feel what I'm saying that um I can kind of blend in in any room I can I can come in any room and be a certain type of way so what I'm saying is is certain qualities that you will learn from growing up in a dysfunctional family that you should grow from and there's certain things that were super toxic that you know, okay, now I'm not going, I don't want that in my life. I don't want that. I don't want my kids to learn those things. And I also don't want to operate in that way. So it's a lot of good that comes from coming from these dysfunctional families. Believe it or not, we just focus on the negative, negative part of it a lot because it's so painful. You feel what I'm saying? But I understand that. But try to focus on the positive ones, grow those things, and then separate from the toxic part of it.